Welcome to another Jammies with Janae. I'm so glad you came back. Are you ready for another story? Well, before we start our story, we've got to do our check-in. So, how was your day today? I hope you said you had a great day. But remember, if you didn't, that's okay. You can make tomorrow a better day. Now, let's do our other checks. First, do you have your jammies on? Ah, excellent. I do. Check. Do you have your favorite stuffed animal or snuggly? I do. Check. Do you have your adult who you're going to share your story with? It can be mom, dad. Grandma, grandpa, any loving adult in your life that you want to share this story with today. Is that your adult? Check. Let's do a quick adult check in. Ask your adult how their day was today. Go ahead, turn to your adult and ask them, How was your day today? Awesome. I hope they said they had a good day. And if they didn't, again, that's okay. They can make tomorrow a better day too. Now, the next thing we need to check in is, do we have our story? Check. Here it is. This is the story we'll be reading today. It's called Hush. Do you have your story? Okay, pull it out. And let's begin. Hush. This story is by Min Fong Ho, and it's illustrated by Holly Mead. If you remember on the last Jammies with Janine, we talked about what an author does and what an illustrator does. Do you remember? What's an author do? That's right. They write the words. So what's an illustrator do again? Perfect. They draw the pictures. We are so good at it. Now, what's really interesting about this book is it is a paperback. See how it's a little softer than some other books? This is called a paperback book. Now, what's also really interesting about this book is that on the cover, normally we see the author and the illustrator listed on the cover. But look closely. On my paperback version of this book, do you see the author or the illustrator listed? No, neither do I. But get this, on the back of this book, ha, there they are, the author and the illustrator. The author is Ming Fong Ho. That is the person who wrote the words. And the illustrator is Holly Mead. That is the person who drew and made beautiful pictures. I think we should get started with our story. Hush, a Thai lullaby. I wonder what's going to happen in this story. Ooh. Hush! Who's that weeping in the winds? Do you see that word weeping? Weeping? What does weeping mean? Or to weep? 
berate. It means to cry or have moisture coming from your eyes, like tears. So this says, hush, who's that weeping in the waves? Want to make a prediction? A prediction is a guess. Who do you think is weeping or crying in the wind? Make a prediction. You got your prediction? Let's turn the page and see. Wee! Wee! A small mosquito. Mosquito! Mosquito! Don't come weeping. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Mosquito, mosquito, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. Hush. Who's that peeping from the ceiling? Now, you made a prediction. Who you thought was weeping? Did you guess maybe it was the baby? That was my guess, too. But in this story, it was the mosquito. The mosquito was making a wee, wee sound. Interesting. Hush! Who's that peeping from the ceiling? Look at this picture. See the baby there? What does it look like the baby's doing? Hmm. Yeah. I think so too. It looks like the baby is fast asleep, laying in their little bed. Fast asleep. Let's turn the page. Taka, taka, a long tailed lizard. Lizard, lizard, don't come peeping. Can't you see that baby's sleeping? Lizard, lizard, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. So we have a lizard in store. There's Mama looking up at the lizard. What do you think she's thinking? What do you think she's thinking looking up at that lizard? Maybe she's thinking, quiet down, lizard. My baby's sleeping. Hush! Who's that creeping under the house? Meow! Meow! Green black. To look like the cat is doing it. Yeah, looks like the cat is crawling, creeping under the house there, just like the words said. But what does creeping mean? What does creeping mean? Mm. Yes, creeping normally means. Moving slowly and cautiously, sometimes with your body very close to the ground. But creeping means. I'm going to stop the story there. Snap! Ah! That means, parents, it's your turn. Take the book, continue reading, and remember, I've got resources right on the website for you. It includes a interactive reading prompt page and also some vocabulary words that you can use with your young readers to continue to support their reading. So I hope that you'll download those things, continue this story, and finish off maybe with a lullaby of your own since this is Hush, a Thai Lullaby. That's it for Jammies with Janae tonight. Hope you'll come back for another story. Good night and happy reading.